Update 7.3 has arrived and brings an explosive new weapon, some new updates to vehicle balance, quality of life changes for landing with your team, and an update to the esports menu. Let's get right into it. The first update is the addition of C4, a brand new explosive that sticks to most surfaces. Once its long timer finishes, this powerful explosive deals damage to everything within a 25 meter radius, both horizontally and vertically. C4 isn't meant to be another throwable, but rather a tactical choice to prevent enemies from staying in a defensive position. There's a clear audible beeping sound when C4 is armed, which increases in frequency as it gets closer to boom time. You'll want to be clear of it when that happens. C4 spawns as world loot on Erangel, Miramar, Bikendi, and Sanok, and will also appear in care packages on these maps. Vehicles are getting a balance update this patch as well, with new damage zones being added to change how you go about taking them down. Starting with 7.3, damage dealt to the engine of a vehicle will still be full, but damage done to the sides and roof of a vehicle will be reduced. Vehicles will also no longer explode immediately upon reaching zero health. Instead, the engine will die and catch fire, giving you about 5 seconds to bail before the vehicle reaches its ultimate end, though excessive damage can be an exception. These new damage zones affect most basic four-wheeled vehicles like the UAZ and Murata. Other changes include increased armor for boats, no more increased collision damage when vehicles are rolling, and a 50% increase to spike trap length. You can check out the patch notes for full details. One more vehicle-related thing. The trains on Vikendi have gotten a new vertical line on the map, which should give more options for use. Some trains will now also make an additional stop before reversing direction, and we've added new indicators for when trains are arriving and departing. Players dropping with their team can once again utilize the parachute follow feature, which was previously disabled pending some improvements, to stick close to their group without having to maneuver there manually. From the pre-match countdown to before the drop, you can select a teammate to follow to the grounds. This can be cancelled on the map screen by holding F while in the plane or while following the player in your chute. Finally, the eSports menu has been updated in preparation for PCS1. Here you'll be able to find an overview, team standings, and the next iteration of the Pick'em Challenge. We'll be talking about PCS1 and the Pick'em Challenge more soon, so keep your eye on PUBG channels for more information. Update 7.3 is available now on PC test servers, so drop in and check out everything new.